Over the past 20 years, I've been training, teaching and tasting wines all over the world, from Italy to London to Montreal. Hand on my heart, I can vouch that Western Australia really is home to some of the best wines in the world. Grenache grows really well in WA, firstly in the Swan Valley, one of the oldest regions in WA, with the warm climate where the Grenache thrives. Then we have the little pockets down south in the Great Southern called Franklin River, which has lovely Mediterranean climates with cool nights and warm days. And then we can't forget the little unknown geographic indication of Geograph that has warm climates, but is cooled down by the infamous Fremantle doctor that does actually make some great elegant Grenache. Grenache or Grenache, depending on what the winemaker calls it, ranges from red berries, so cherries, red plums, red currants, uh, anything to the blackberry or even blueberries sometimes. And then when it gets older, um, you get these dried herbs, leather, even orange peel facets to it as well. So Grenache does really well with any sort of grilled braised, slow-cooked red meat. At Mayfair Lane, I love to pair it with a good old-fashioned pub classic, like a bangers and mash. So the evolution of Grenache in WA, I think, has always been that it's a great blender. It, it's, it's best friends with Shiraz and Mataro. Um, it adds alcohol and colour. However, by itself, grown well with the right climate and viticulture, it can be an amazing wine on its own. The best time to be drinking Grenache, I think, is probably in the autumn or spring. Um, it's still a baby on its own as a single varietal, but it's definitely worth the wait.